Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a bongo cajon. Let's get into it. What the, what is that? Last year I built some cajons, and while I was doing the research for those, I came across these mini lap size or bongo cajons. The general idea is pretty simple. It's basically just a box with a divider and no bottom. After looking into it a little further, I found that Steve Ramsey over at Woodworking for Mere Mortals offers a set of plans for free on his website for these bongo cajones. I really liked his design because it had these cool angles, so that's what I'm going to use as a jumping off point for mine. I started the project by breaking down some half-inch thick plywood per Steve's plans. Then I put a dado down the center of the long side pieces to hold the divider, not realizing I made the dado in the wrong spot. The divider in these little cajones is supposed to be offset, so that way you have two different size sections giving you two different tones to this little cajon. But I wasn't paying close enough attention and I just kept trucking in the wrong direction. Uh oh. I set my miter gauge to 8 degrees and cut both ends of each long side piece. Then I put a rabbit on both ends of each long side piece. Because the two short side pieces will be sitting at that 8 degree angle, I cut the top and bottom of each one of them to the same 8 degrees. Last but not least, I cut down some 1 8 inch plywood for the top. A feature that I liked about Steve's plans were the cutouts on each side creating little feet for the cajon, so I decided to add those to mine also. During the dry fit, I realized my mess up with the dados, so I recut the dados and filled the wrong ones with strips of plywood. Nice save. Assembly was really simple, especially with these strap clamps. I'll leave a link to the strap clamps that I use in the description below. Once the box was dry, I used my router to put a round over on all four corners. I also put a round over on the cutouts on each side. After some sanding, I glued the top panel in place. Just a note, I did cut that top panel just a little oversized so I could trim it to fit with the router once it was dry. My goal with this little cajon was to use glue only for the assembly, that's why I left it to dry overnight. But if you want to get through this project a little quicker, you could always add some brad nails to the top. After a final sanding, I decided to go with boiled linseed oil for the finish. All right, our bongo cajon is finished. Let me go over a few things real quick. 
First off, I did a little bit more research and actually this is a pretty standard design for these, but I still like the angles anyway. I still think it's pretty cool looking. As far as the materials go, I really wish I had gotten some higher quality wood. I still paid like 60 something dollars for this sheet of plywood, but it just chips up too easily. It doesn't sand well, and it just kind of looks bad. I really had high hopes for this being natural wood, but I'm just not happy with the overall look. And that's why I made another one. And this one I made the exact same way out of the exact same material, but I decided to paint it instead of just put uh, the boiled linseed oil on it, hoping that that would kind of cover some of the blemishes of this cheap plywood. Overall, I really like the look, but looks aren't all that matters when it comes to these little cajones. What really matters is the sound quality. Now we know there are two different areas. One should be a low tone and one should be a higher tone. Let's see if we can hear the difference. All right, as you can tell, there is a slight difference, but you really kind of got to listen to it. It's not really strong. And that's why I made another one. That's right, a third one. This one I built from three quarter inch pine boards, but I still use the same eighth inch plywood on the top. Let's see if we can hear the difference. Now, I don't know how much it came through on the camera, but from here, the sound is definitely much better than these plywood ones over here. First of all, it definitely has a larger sound than the plywood ones. It just resounds much better. Second of all, you can definitely distinguish the sounds between the high side and the low side. It just makes a world of difference using the pine boards opposed to the plywood. Overall, I'm happiest with the pine over the plywood ones, but it still has that plywood top and I'm just not happy with how it looks. I wish there was something else I could put on the top. Don't worry, I didn't make a fourth one, but if you have any good ideas of what we can replace this cheap plywood with, I would love to hear them in the comments below. I'll make sure to leave a link to the plans that I use from Steve Ramsey in the description below, and I would love to hear which one of these is your favorite. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.